You are now watching the It's Reese Live. You feel Answer that to me. How you gonna vote for somebody that's not even present? Yeah, you ain't got an answer for that. Let me keep my ears to the streets. Believe it or not, whatever race, whatever religion you are, you need sex. Is that what you need, chat? Is that what you need? That's exactly what you needed, chat. Is that what you need? He said W. Nah. Look at y'all, chat. That's what y'all need. You heard it? You heard it loud and clear. That's what you need, chat, not me. Mm -mm. Don't try to paint that picture like that's what Reese need. The only thing Reese need is that guap, that money, that moolah, that dinero. You see what I'm getting at, chat? Y'all wouldn't know. I don't know what y'all need, chat. I don't know what y'all need, chat, but it ain't what I need. You goofy ass. <laughs> you dumb ass. Get yo, you get no money. Shut your ass up. You painting pictures. I'm painting faces. What? You want sex. That's that's gonna make you happy. Men are weak at the end of the day, so it's 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 really all up to them. So are, are, what do you want? You wanna you wanna be celibate or? You're going to have to cave in at some point to what we mm. want. Women have a lot more, way more options than men. Do you think men should withhold attention and resources when they're unhappy with women? They can, but just to let you know, she'll find that attention somewhere else. Or a want. Do you believe that sex is a need or a want? It's a want. It's a need. I would say it's definitely a want. You don't have to have it to survive. Like, that's biologically, like, explain. Like, we came from animals, and they, that's what they do. They fuck. <laughs> to recreate themselves, so that's, like, that's yeah. a need. Mm. Sex is a need in a different way. First of all, sex is a need in order to populate the earth, and mm. that is what we are here on this earth to do. So it is a need in that way. However, men's desires are not a need. Is it more of a need or a want for men or for women? I would say, honestly, I think it's about equal. I mean, they, they peak at different times, right? So men in their, in their 20s, they need it more. They want it more. Women in their 40s. Even if it was just an urge, why are men often shamed for wanting it when it's biology? Ooh, I don't know. What if we shame women for having periods? Then you're horrible. That's rude. That's like a normal thing. Like. I mean, isn't it equally a normal thing for men to want sex? No. Why not? I don't know. I... If sex... Mm, she dazed and confused. She don't know what's going on with these answers. She don't know what to say to y'all, chat. She trying to talk to the streets, but she don't know what to say to them. Wasn't a need for men. Why would men invest so much time, effort, and money, and risk so much liability in order to get it? I mean, because it's a need. It says it right there. <laughs> what else do men invest that much time and effort into? Masturbating? What else do men invest that much time and effort into? Money. Money to impress women? Yeah. If sex is a need, why is it sold at a luxury price? Um, there is a market. Like, there was a need. Like, when you see that there is a need, there is a market. She got one of those eyes where it looks like she can't, like, show emotion. Am I seeing it? She, she don't look like she could show emotion and they need that so it sells sex sells. exactly so when it comes to the current dating market would you agree that women have more options now than ever while men have more competition now than ever i think it's the other way around if women do have more options than ever that does mean men have comp competitions already well women want the top one percent of the one percent and they think that it's just everywhere the majority of men that usually you know got money power and stuff like that got the more options to choose any girl they want because women come along with respect and success. Mm. So for an average man to find a good woman, um, he sometimes have to settle for women that are going to do whatever the fuck they want to do because they're not 
Maybe the alpha? So is it fair alpha. to impose these delusional rich alpha male standards upon all men and shame those who don't conform? I feel like you should try your hardest to be you and be the best you you can be, but not for women. You gotta have game, but you can't be like, that Riz. like too thirsty. Why are men shamed for being thirsty when women created the drought? <laughs> we didn't create a drought. Don't women decide who gets sex? I mean, I guess you could kind of argue that. You could say that. Are men more thirsty for sex or are women more thirsty for attention? I think men, because y'all pay for like OnlyFans and shit like that. Most men are just needed. That's what chat be doing with their spare time. Don't, don't sit here and act like you ain't purchased a little fan only or two. That's what you do in your spare time, chat. Yeah, look at Jack. A lot of dudes are weak-minded. You will lick her teeth. Why would you even type that message? More than women do. Are women more prone to teasing or pleasing men? I'd say teasing. There's a lot of thirst traps online, you know, nowadays. Like, all a woman gotta do is go on, like, Instagram, Twitter, social media, period, and just post some fire-ass pictures, and then they gonna have all kind of dudes all in their inbox. Like, you have a, a female shaking her ass, and then have like a thousand dudes like watching that video and out of those thousand dudes I'm pretty sure at least half of them probably like in her inbox. Why are men shamed for being thirsty when men are typically the ones expected to pursue women? That's a really damn. Damn. If we're expected to pursue yeah. why are we being ashamed for the pursuit? Yeah. Because men are the ones who sit here and do things that are very disgusting to women as far as getting rejected. They they will tell you that you're beautiful one moment and then they will bash you and they will do certain things just because they think you're beautiful. They also believe that what you're wearing justifies who you are. They are incapable of of emotion and understanding emotion they think logically and they think physically so because it's not coinciding with what their beliefs are they get angry and they get aggressive do you think you'll ever make it to the top five percent and if so how long do you think it will take no oh wow no either but who knows maybe we can go up to top 15 or 10. i'm not six foot so i can't be in the top 10 percent it would be nice but reality is i probably won't reach it I mean, having having money is is a pretty good um, pretty good value to have, right? So, how is telling men that they need to become high value not just shaming all the average men who can't make it to the top five percent? I think any man can make it to success, yeah. but not stereotypical top five percent. I think that's been popularized popularized by media a lot. I think like oh, like if you're not a good-looking man with that owns a fucking tower in Manhattan or something, you're not going to get the prettiest woman on the block, right? But I, I, I like to think that... Wish you had help getting things done. Stop it right there, Chad. He likes to think. That's his problem right there. He likes to think. That's where they had to cut him off at, because he likes to think, and we don't want that.